Thanks for being a part of the Our Town Project and for supporting your local public television station. As you get started, here are some basic tips that will not only impress your friends, but are also guaranteed to make your town proud. He's really an attractive dog. There's a Todd Birding Club that meets at the park. They meet every Tuesday morning. Once you've selected your story topic, you'll need to think about how you want to tell it. A unique business in Clearfield that I think half the people in town aren't aware of is the Vintage Motor Works, which is owned and operated by Mac Dufton of Clearfield here. We need a visual to represent anything you want to cover in your story. Think about what pictures and video you'll need to explain the topic. And then think about what you're passionate about or what you'd want the world to know about your hometown. First, make sure you have your camera set to widescreen or 16x9 instead of full screen or 4x3. Some cameras offer letterbox or pan and scan as another option, but please don't select these. If you have a high definition camera, that's great. A video shot on a cell phone is not really the best option. Please remember to turn off the date and time display on your camera. We want this video to have a long shelf life for you and your town. As for media formats, we can use just about anything. Just ask. If you have questions about your camera, let us know. Neat. And as a marble. <laughs> Be sure to double check that you are recording. When the red light is on, you're usually recording. In the case of a camera, red does not mean stop. Finally, video cameras, unlike your still cameras, do not shoot in portrait mode. So turning your camera on its side will not provide us with any usable video. Scope out a scene before recording it. Then think about which vantage points will provide the best views. The wider variety of shots we have to work with, the better. We're looking for shots from different angles. Close up, wide shots, medium wide, and so on. A variety of video shots will really help illustrate your story. Try to get at least 20 different shots of a variety of people, places, and happenings. Uh -oh. People make the most important and interesting subjects, so try to capture them in action. Remember to hold each shot steady for at least 10 seconds or more. And when you think it's been long enough, hold it for another five seconds. Make sure you describe your video on your log sheet as you're shooting. This will help us identify your footage later. Whenever possible, move closer to the subject rather than zooming in or panning. Today, we are preparing the, the bed. Remember, sound is very important when capturing video. Your camera microphone should be on, and we'll want to hear the sound of what you're recording, not a conversation that you're having with somebody behind the camera. Well, I'm almost out of battery power. We often get asked how much video we really need. The answer is the more we have to work with, the more we can use to help tell the story. A general guideline would be around 20 minutes of footage. Make sure you set up your tripod prior to rolling. Don't move with the camera, like walking or riding a bike. And if you don't have a tripod, don't worry. You can lean against a tree, an armchair, rest your arm on a table. But it's important to have your camera steady and level. While we prefer video since we like to see people in action, still images can also help tell a great story.
This show is produced in high definition, so we need the largest or highest resolution photos available. Images around 300 dpi work great when integrated into the show. Notice the difference? After you've collected all of your footage, it's time to tell the story. Each story feature needs a spokesperson to appear on camera during the production day for an interview with the WPSU producers. This casual interview will help narrate your story and tie it all together. Won't you buy my mother's place? Don't forget your log sheet. WPSU producers will use this as a guide to ask questions during your interview. We need to make sure the interview content matches the pictures you're providing. Thanks again for being a part of the team to help spotlight your community on public television. Have fun and good luck.